Okay, so I want to talk about alcohol and explain it with regards to calories. Now the first and most important part to remember is when we drink alcohol or high amounts of alcohol, the food that we eat does not get digested as quick. Our body wants to get rid of the alcohol, yet not because it's poisonous to the body. So when you think about having a big meal and then drinking straight after it, that big meal is going to be pushed aside, slowly metabolized, as opposed to trying to get rid of the alcohol. The second thing I want you to remember is the body is craving energy, more specifically nutrients. Yes, we need carbs, proteins, and fats to get by healthily, but more importantly, we need our micronutrients, our vitamins and minerals. Now, alcohol is poisonous to the body, and it's not going to help us take in many nutrients whatsoever. Yes, drinks like Guinness might have a little bit of iron, but it's not enough compared to what you need. Again, the body will get rid of the alcohol as quick as possible and stop us from digesting and utilizing our nutrients. We need micronutrients and we need our macronutrients. The body does not need alcohol. Okay, so now let's look at what an average person's calories might look like if they were to have a social drink on a Friday, drinks with friends Saturday, and even drinks on a Sunday whether that's with your meal or a couple of other drinks. But let's look at the calorie consumption compared to nutrients and alcohol. Okay, so I'm going to explain first the amount of calories that have been consumed. For a person who may need 2,000 calories to maintain their current body weight, what they're trying to cut. So, on a Monday, they may eat 2,500 because they eat a bit more because of the weekend. The craving calories, the craving nutrients, so they eat a little bit more. Whereas on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, they hit it 100%, hit 1,500 for the cut, so they eat 1,500 each day. So their average calories for the week would be 1,675, less than the maintenance, therefore they will lose weight. Let's say their cut's at 1,500 to maintain as 2,000, the average 1,675, they will lose weight. That's a fact. But let's say when it comes to Friday to Sunday, the dynamics change. So on a Friday, we still eat that 1500 because they're in that routine, eating the same sort of things. But it comes to the evening and they have a few drinks, maybe a thousand calories, which is very easy to consume, bring their calories up to 2500. On the Saturday, they eat a little bit more because again, the body's craving more nutrients, more energy. So they may eat 2000, enough calories to maintain current body weight. But we have a few more drinks on top of that because of social events. Raising up the calories maybe to 3000. You've drank a thousand calories, it easily happens. And then lastly on Sunday, they again more food, maybe because they're having a roast dinner, or they may be, taking a uh, they may be eating a takeaway, raising their calories now to 2,500, okay? More than they need to maintain. But with calories, again, from alcohol, they might have a couple of glasses of wine with their dinner, again, meet a few friends, it raises up to 3,000. So the weekend average calories, when it comes to just food, 2,000. Absolutely spot on, perfect. But when you add the alcohol, the average calories becomes 2,833. So they're over consuming calories. So obviously come Monday, your weight is going to jump up because you've had excess of calories. Now, when you look at it on a weekly basis, the average calories of during the week and the weekend would end up 2,385. Hence why you can gain weight or you'd be in a vicious circle of Losing and gaining, losing and gaining, losing and gaining. And that's called yo-yo dieting. Now the last part of this current video, before I progress on to the next one, is I want you to see the difference between your overall calories and your overall average calories without alcohol. So we're averaging around about 2,385 calories, including alcohol. But remember, alcohol has no benefit to our body. It is poisonous. So there's no nutrients and the body wants to get rid of it. So the amount of calories that we're consuming with hopefully carbs, protein, fats, micronutrients is only actually 1857 on average per day over the whole week. So we need 2000 calories to maintain our current body weight, but really we're only averaging 1857, nearly 150 calories less, give or take, then you're getting less energy, less nutrients than what the body needs to optimally perform. So take a big note of that. You're taking in less calories than what the body needs to optimally perform. Will there be an issue with that in the future? 
of course, your sleep will take a hit, your energy will take a hit, your stress will probably increase, your recovery will probably be not as good, it'll probably be more poor, your training probably won't be as efficient or as optimal. There's so many negative, event, uh, negative effects on the body from having less calories than the body needs due to yo-yo dieting, alcohol and more. And lastly, on the next video, we're going to talk about more how alcohol affect the body if you're drinking more than a thousand calories on a Friday, a Saturday and Sunday. So if you're binge drinking much more and eating much less and how that will affect the body in, uh, in the long term and how metabolic adaptation will happen and occur. Therefore, we will have to reverse diet to get you to where you need to be.